Hello everyone and welcome to our blind let's play Full Throttle Remastered for the PS5. My name is Flutter's Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today, well today this may be unexpected for some. The truth is, we still got about a week until Return of Monkey Island comes out. So I wanted to dive into another game in the meantime. And upon doing some research, it looks like we could probably play this game before that game comes out. So let's go have some fun with some old school, new school. LucasArts Adventure Gaming. Let's do it. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan. My vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sir, <laughs> that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good <laughs> PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. I really love how they did the uh, voice acting, where they seem to lower the music volume when someone's speaking. That's really clever. Full throttle. I don't know anything about this game. Oh, it stars Mark Hamill. Well, I think that's pretty awesome. But yeah, I don't know anything about this game. I'm excited to jump into it. Please, no spoilers in the comment section below, unless I specifically ask. Let's just enjoy this game together. Tim Schafer, excellent. Let's see some names I recognize here. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I was thinking about playing Sam and Max at the road. I was also thinking about doing uh, Grim Pendango. But as I said, when I did research on how long those games take to play, both of them said it would take about 10 to 13 hours. It might not. Uh, this one said it would take about four to five, so I figured, hey, that's kind of awesome. I wouldn't mind a, uh, a, 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 a game like this right now, especially since, you know, I've been sick, and because of that, I haven't been playing as many games. You know, we just finished the Silent Hill Homecoming ending guide in the last uh, day, which was fantastic. 
So we're going from horror to uh hopefully some hey, ben. hilarious point you know, click ben, adventure. We're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Man, that voice acting is so good. Like the guy who did his voice seems to be perfect. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? <laughs> What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rot Wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. Oh, okay. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. All right, I hey, think it's plenty of credits on you. Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll them, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come. Someone stole my bike. This just got personal. You don't touch another man's bike. Okay, cycle so inventory L1, R1, switch, open menu. A lot of open buttons. Cancel. Open verbs. Examine inventory. Snap to hotspot. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we'll have to figure this out as we go. Where are we at? We're not unconscious somewhere. Uh, hello? Uh, Ben? Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're stuck in here. There we go. So, what are our verbs? Kick? Take that. <laughs> I'm not putting my lips on that. Hey, it's a big crust thing. You gotta put your lips on everything. I've touched it enough. 
Okay, over here. I'm not putting my lips on that. I can't see any use for those. No. Is there a way to just examine? It seems like there's only three verbs. Okay. Nah. He can flatten his own boxes. Nah. He can... Alright, let's move over. Okay, someone did take our bike. Good. We still have our bike here. I'd be very upset if someone stole our bike. Open up. Anyone? Open up. Where they all go? All right. Well, that works. I uh, fixed your door. <laughs> it was sticky. <laughs> Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Oh, that was great. Uh, I assume this is just not the lick button. It's also the talk to, right? Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Uh, what'd everybody head off to? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. Oh, no, we did not pass out. S someone definitely knocked us. You want something? What do you got for a headache? A little sympathy. Thanks. But not much. <laughs> you know what might look better on your nose? What? The table. The bar. Oh, okay, that works too. Now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. Huh? What else? Nothing, nothing. An Look, ambush? Man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. That's a good question. No. I've got nothing to say. Got nothing to say. I'm not putting my lips on that. Nothing to grab. It's empty. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, what do you mean? Those are those alcohol. Can't. Got a ride. Oh, okay, that makes sense. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. How do I look at things? Okay, there's my inventory. Like, I don't see a look at button. Oh. Easy way to access inventory, though. That's cool. Hold on a second. Let me check the uh, controls again. Okay, I'm glad I uh, looked at the uh, thing because apparently... Um, there's eyes up here. Now, what's weird is, you gotta press the up button in order to get to him. So, you just can't go left to right like this. So, yes, there is a look up button. That's one big fish. Yep. Uh, there's also this button. Wow. The game looks very similar. Yeah, that, that's a really good job at the, uh, the HD rendering. Because the game looks the same, except everything is uh, shinier. Very, very cool. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. <laughs> Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Aww. Can't take them? Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Aw, shuck. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. I love the piano. Can we play it? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I can play piano. Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. <laughs> 
Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head? Or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. Come on, the monitor here. doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Alright, and what about here? The monitor doesn't have any controls. Okay, so it looks like that's all the same. Okay, well, let's look at this guy now. Now that we know how to look at. Hmm. There's nothing, huh? Hmm. It's okay. empty. Don't get any ideas. Ah, shucks. I already had ideas, but unfortunately it didn't work. So go to our bike. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. <laughs> Let's roll. Serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Switch. Okay, so we have a foot and we have a fist. Seems fun. Oh, that's not fun. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I'd be freaking out right about now too. I guess someone did mess with my bike. I so they must have meant when they said it must look like an accident. Those jerks. Oh, I'd like to make you just something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Yeah, that looks like a hurt. Uh, who's taking pictures of me? Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now, I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. It's zero. From zero escape. Oh my god, it is. What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need hmm. a little help getting it finished, though. Thanks a lot. You're awesome. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, they did a great job with the HD update here. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. 
this an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. Aww. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People Melon either weed. learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay, so what do I need? I need, I need to write this out. I need fuel. A blowtorch and what was the last one? How's it look? Well, basically what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. New forks. Okay, so fork, fuel, blowtorch, and new forks. Alright. Hey, if you if this is the first time on your channel, I'd like to write everything down. It's just kind of what we do here. I gotta get out of this town fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? Uh, gang's in trouble. My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? They gamble them on the back of your jacket. Yeah, I, I thought for so. an ambush, so I gotta catch him. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Seriously, that's amazing. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Okay, new forks, Todd. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know, set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Oh, uh, where's the gas? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Okay, so we don't know where the blowtorch is, but uh, fuel, edge of town, and new forks, ask Todd. Well, I'll let you get back to work. No mo. I don't need any aspirin or anything. Okay. Well, let's look around, shall we? She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? Nah, she's got a wrench. <laughs> nah, she's got a wrench. Mo. Yeah, Ben? All right, um, I'll let you well, get back to work. I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. And we'll look around. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. I'm not putting my lips on that. Aww. I'll wait till she's done. I'll wait till she's done. Okay, really can't do anything with the bike. Like I said, I like to do everything on everything. Why? Why? Because it's fun. Hmm. This hose smells like gas. Okay, so we picked up a hose. Wish this gas can was full. And I guess we gotta pick this up too. I'm not putting my lips on that. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. I think that's everything here. So how do I leave over here? Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. That's supposed to be the reporter. Heard you save my life. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. 
Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Ouch. I'd love to see that picture. <laughs> Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Uh... Somewhere between here and Corville. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... <laughs> Come on, man. Spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How Where are you your wheels? Here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right. Drive safe now. All right. Something right here. Is there? Like, why would that light up if there was nothing here? That's really weird. Check the mailbox. This game looks amazingly beautiful. It would look beautiful back then, too. It's empty. I mean, just look at this. That looks amazing. That really, really looks amazing. Okay, so we can mail something here. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. It's good to know. We go that way, we can go this way. Looks like that's the only way we can go, so let's go. Oh, she has a... Oh, that. We haven't played. I didn't even see that there. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> now I got a quote for you. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow. Look at all this. Okay, so tower, tower. Uh, a lot of places to go. Why don't we go here first? Because we gotta talk to Todd, right? Oh wait, wait, hold on. Go back for a second. I wonder what this looks like. Wow, that looks, that looks almost exactly the same. That's incredible. Like seriously, look at the house. You can see slight differences on the, the roof there, but man, that looks so good. Yeah. Wow, this game was beautiful back then. Absolutely. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Could be a mixture of both. I'm not putting my lips on that. Steel bars in the glass. Steel bars in the glass. The chimney here. Smells like burning metal down there. Hmm. No. Okay, what does that do? Oh, I thought it stopped the uh, the thing from down here, but I guess not. Alright, uh, let's see what else. Something over here. Sandbags. Probably all that's holding this dump up. I'm not putting my lips on that. They just fall apart. <laughs> Apparently you can kick everything in this game. I'm not putting my lips on that. I like I draw people just randomly putting my lips on stuff. It's even sadder looking inside. Bars. No. Can't kick that. Okay, what is this over here? A sandbox? Check this out. Or not. Apparently this guy has a dog. I'm not putting my lips on that. No thanks. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Alright, well let's go knock on the, the door, shall we? And we will... Hopefully talk to Todd here. If this is where Todd Locked, is. But flimsy looking. I love the aggressive knock. Oh wow. 
Can you hear me? Who's out there? Hey, I hear you already. Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy no bums. He's not gonna help me, is he? Ah, that's one way to make an entrance. I like how I can kick like every single door down in this game so far. That makes me happy. It's I don't know why. With steel bracket. It's locked up with steel bracket. Ow. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on I pictured him having a much larger fridge. No. What is this? Meat? It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Or both. Grab some meat. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Hmm. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. Uh, there's something else right here. Cabinet. Looks like a cabinet to me. What is this? Oh, a lockpick. Absolutely take that. It's empty. Okay, nothing else is in there. Can we use a lockpick on this? A lockpick won't help there. I guess not. Okay, how do we get where this guy is? I mean, where is his... Maybe it's here? This is like the secret to his success? It's locked up with steel brackets. Hmm. Oh. That's the start button. I'm trying to get to my uh, inventory. Triangle. Okay. Is there a way I can look at stuff? Wish this gas can was full. Mm -hmm. This hose smells like gas. Can we combine these? A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. Maybe not yet. <laughs> it's a lockpick. Okay. Um, not really sure what else we can be doing at this moment in this area. If I can't... Meat. That's not one of meat's many uses. Okay, can I drop the meat down here? That's not one of meat's many uses. Guess not. Okay, well let's continue exploring and we'll come back here later. Let's go up here. Oh, this is Todd. Okay. There's a cord hanging here and there's an entrance here. So who is that other guy? Heavy looking. Open up, Todd. God, the way he knocks is awesome. Ow. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. All right, let's check the uh, the cord here. I hope you're a good climber. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. I'm not putting my lips on that. No. Oh. As soon as I walk away, this is gonna come down. I need something here. I need. Hose won't help here. I need a weight. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of meat's many uses. A lockpick won't help there. Yeah, I need some sort of weight to hold this down. So when I go... <laughs> oh, that was a good dive, actually. I want to know what that looks like in the, uh, the, old, the old graphics. Does that look great? Oh, even the music is different, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't get the dive to work, but that was pretty cool. Okay, uh, there's a down and there's a right. Do they both take me out the same direction? Yes, they do. All right, let's see. 
We can go here, been there, been there. Been there. How many could go this way? Could go up that way. Haven't been here yet. What? It looks so good. I'm sorry, but this game is just beautiful. Let's see. Warning signs? The top of this fence is electrified. Hmm. No. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. Okay, well, thankfully, we have a lock pick. Not so tough after all. Aha! All right, what do we got here? Game seems to be a little bit glitchy with this mechanic because there is nothing there, even though it says there should be something there. Seems like there's only one place to go, and that's up the ladder. Oh, that's not good. Uh, who are you? Oh, this could be bad. Just saying, this could be bad. Oh, they're still shooting me! I am getting out of here. <laughs> I got excited. Okay, so if I touch if I touch that, I basically get these guys after me. And why does it say there's something over here when there isn't? Maybe I can use this as a hiding spot? Like, if I touch it, and then I go back here and I hide. I mean, is it possible that they'll come around and then just move on? If we could steal that, whatever that thing is, that'd be great. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. All right. Now what do we do? Power slide. I don't trust anything without wheels. I don't touch anything without wheels. I don't touch anything without wheels. I'm not putting my lips on that. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many uses. A lockpick won't help there. What do I do with the hover sled? I don't trust anything without wheels. I don't touch anything without wheels. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the, uh, the hover sled here. Don't think so. No. Hmm. I'm not putting my lips on that. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many. A lockpick won't help there. Yeah, I'm not really sure now what to do. A lockpick won't help. A hose won't. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many uses. I don't trust anything without we. I don't touch anything with. I don't touch anything without wheels. I don't know if I have all the tools to successfully do whatever I am supposed to do there right now. I don't, I don't walk. Not on, not on foot. Okay, so I gotta be able to do something somewhere, somehow. 
Well, let's go back to the main house here. I see mailbox. I see whatever this is supposed to be. Like nothing's there. I don't see anything else that I could do. There's nothing in here. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many you. A lockpick won't help there. I'm thinking maybe I had to get the dogs to chase off the guys, but I don't know how to get the dog. I mean, it says here that the dog's taking over the sandbox. Apparently, this guy has a dog. But where is the dog? That's not one of Meat's many uses. Hmm. Maybe we can uh, bug this guy again. Locked, but flimsy looking. It didn't work like I thought it would. I thought if he was coming up, I could uh, somehow get his. Maybe I had to wait longer. What do you want? Like right here? <laughs> Expression. Oh, that was that was great. Sorry, Todd. This view defines true beauty. <laughs> I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. Now we can go down. Excellent. That's a really cool mechanic there. All right. What do we got here? We got a lot of stuff to look at. I nominate that as least offensive of show. I don't collect art. I'm not that limber. I'm not putting my lips on that. What the heck is this? Ouch. Oh, it's about a birdie. Hi, birdie. How you doing? I'm not putting my lips on that. I don't collect art. I could try, but it wouldn't die. <laughs> what is this? I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Really? It's kind of weird. I'm not putting my lips on that. I don't collect art. I'm gonna kick the little tin doggy. No. Nah. Later. Ah, let's not kick the doggy. It's a torch. Better hustle this back to Mo. Oh, so he's the one who stole the torch. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. I still wanted to do more stuff there, oh, though. It was just lying around. A pair of forks, little gas, and we're set. All right, so we got the blow torch. I still want to look around more in that room now. I can go back. So it seems like each location has a different thing. What is this? I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. I don't collect art. I don't want to start a fight with that thing. I don't blame you. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. <laughs> I'm not putting my lips on that. I don't collect art. I'd rather just get out of here. And I also don't collect whatever that is. Not a bad version, really. Can't get up there. Can't get up there. I'm not putting my lips on that. Right, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, so we got the, uh, we got the blowtorch, so one step is complete. And we know that we need to go up top somehow. We also know we need something to weigh down the, uh, uh, this thing here. A 
hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many uses. A lockpick won't help there. Um. Can't seem. Ah, uh, that wasn't smart. Can't seem to do anything with this chain. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. I keep pulling it up. I don't think it's doing anything. Hmm. How do I get through the door? How do I get through the door? Well, we've solved one puzzle. Question is, how do we solve these two puzzles? I can't do anything here. I've tried everything here. Have we tried everything here? So I can't climb up this. I can't go this. There's a vehicle here. I can't seem to do anything with the vehicle. Can I walk around it? Don't think so. No. The ladder here. Wait, gas cap? What is that? I'd say that's where the gas goes. Oh, right here. Oh, we can take some of the gas. Ah. So we can use this here. Ah. Da, 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 da. Excellent. I assume this is how these work together. Then we have to siphon. Uh, that didn't work. Let me try that one again. Um, oh, lips on that. Right. Siphon. Okay, I'll put my lips on that. <laughs> hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Run away! Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Oh, you know what I just noticed? Boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. Oh, we'll worry about his hand. Let, let's get away from these crazy guys. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just get our new forks and we're on the road. I, I just noticed something. The, uh... Um, there's actually two screens to that area. How do I... Go this way. There, there were two screens in this area. This screen here. A lock. Okay. So with the lock. It's open. Can I close it? It's open. No, but what I'm saying is with the lock, maybe I can use that on the chain to hold open the uh the, the chain here. So, hold on. That's not something I want to lock. Okay, but maybe if I do this first. And then I'll lock it. That's not something I want to lock. I don't know exactly what working like I planned it was. No, it's not. Um. That's not one of Meat's men. That's not something I want to lock. That's not something I want to lock. Maybe I have to use the lock on here? Okay. What did that do? I'm going to find out. 
Oh, okay, it's ah, ha ha ha. Uh, junk. Nice, 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 nice. I like that. Okay, there's a dog down there. We do have some dog meat, fortunately. We're gonna get chased by dogs, aren't we? Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. Yep, 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 here comes the dogs! <laughs> Look at that face! Run away, run away! Down. Man, that's dogs. one hungry dog. Goodness. Alright, so how do we use the dog meat here? Let's throw it on the pile. That's not one of meat's many uses. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. <laughs> what do I do with the meat? Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, danger, move up to danger. Down. That's one ill tempered mongrel. Yeah, that's one mean doggy. How, how do I use the dog, uh, the meat to my advantage here? Seems to be like a lot of things in the background. Can I throw it up somewhere? Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out cars. No, thank you. Darn it! What do I do with this dog? This dog won't leave me alone! Down. Yes, down, down, down! Who needs dogs? Alright, um, hmm. I, I gotta... I gotta put the meat in something. Okay, I see the forks there. Maybe up here? Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Oh wait, wait, there's another screen. Uh, very, very hungry dog. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's there's a device right here. Uh oh, two goes. Hi. So there there's a uh, what should we call it? A uh, a magnetic thing magic there. Who needs dogs? So if I can attract the dog to that uh, car, and then I can pick up the car somehow. I'm not really sure how I was supposed to pick up the car, but apparently there's got to be a way to do that. I mean, you could see the device right there. Oh, look, we're climbing up in the background. Move magnet, switch magnet controls. Okay, so... What I want to do is I want to... I, I want to put the meat where the blue car is. And then after putting the meat where the blue car is, go up there and then pick the car up. And get rid of the dog? No, I hope this is like my Khaled. No animals were hurt in the making of this game. I mean, it's LucasArt, so I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Okay, let's go to the right. Let's throw the meat in this car. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Alright, okay, now he's in the car. And now I need to go up here. 
to where the to where the patrols are. And then switch magnet controls, magnet power on. Move magnet. Raise lower magnet. Here we go. Uh, magnet power. There we go. Now we need to raise it. And then... I don't know. I mean, is the dog going to be stuck here now? Or do we have to, like, sandwich him? But I did sandwich the poor guy. I'm sorry, doggy. I, I really need those forks. What can I say? I'm sorry. You better not come out after me. Kind of smushed them pretty good. I feel bad about that. Yes, I do. Sorry, but I need these forks. Are you kidding me? How did you get out? How did you get out? Down. How in the world? Tempered mongrel. How in the world did you get out of that? And I don't have any meat left now. Maybe, maybe he's maybe he's back over there though. Can't reach it. Or do I have to go get some more meat? No, you see, he's over there. How in the world did you get out of that? All right, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take Kib's car and put it up in the air. Because apparently smashing him in like a sandwich did not do the trick. All right, let's see. Magnet power on. Move magnet. Uh, that didn't work. Alright, let's try it like this now. Try multiple different combinations on how to trap this dog. This dog is smarter than me, that is for sure. I am not denying that one bit. This dog is smarter than me. <clears throat> hey, we got it! All right. Knives, forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. <laughs> well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish you up. I'm working on a surprise. Oh. I hate surprises. Oh, my All that. right, here she comes. Ah, who's cool or what? You're, You're cool. amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? <laughs> oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. Cool. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Absolutely. I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. 
Sorry to se sorry setting our entire place on fire. What was with that what? Bush. Oh, it came all the way straight back? Mm. Alright, my friends. Well, my name is Fuzzbo. This is our Beast Gaming Channel, and this is our Blind Let's Play. Full Throttle Remastered for the PS5. Uh, thank you for everything, my friends. I love you all so very much. Since this is the first video in a new playlist, I humbly ask if you could just go ahead and hit that like button to show support for this game. And if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe, comment when you do, so that way I can welcome you to the channel. I also need to give a huge shout out to our wonderful, amazing Patreons, Chitty Kuti and Techno Trouble. Thank you both for everything you do. You are so dearly appreciated. Can't thank you enough. But for now, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.